Howdy mates, good evening, how are you all doing? This is probably my only video I'm going to make today. It is August 30th, 2023, and I'm neither in Utah, nor Ohio, nor Florida. You could say rather, I am instead in the state of Iowa, <laughs> as a matter of fact. So you could say this, by record, will be my first ever video located in the state of Iowa. Welcome to the Upper Midwest, a part of the Midwest with which I have never been to before. So actually I'm near Iowa City, which is basically home of the Hawkeye country. So you could say a fellow Buckeye has been picked up by a Hawkeye. <laughs> That's too funny. But then there might be a gator on the side too. We'll see. Anyway, I'm near the Iowa River and just ahead of you, actually, you see the structure there. That's a reservoir that is incorporated by the United States Army Corps of Engineers. Same exact federal company that holds up Lake Okeechobee in Florida. Beside the point, where we are has a historical significance. Um, this is known as the Devonian Fossil Gorge. So, in other words, people can come here to investigate the rocks and have a chance to look for fossils. Past relics, as it were. That's the whole idea of fossils. Now, when I say Devonian, that refers to the Devonian period which basically ranged from roughly 420 to 360 million years ago. You figure at that time, the sea levels were much higher than what they are now, as a matter of fact. So you figure back then, you had two separate land masses from what it is today. You had Laurasia, which is mostly the northern continents that were all combined together. So that included, you know, North America, Asia. Uh, i trying to think. Parts of Europe, too. So, you had that. But, and then south, you had Gondwana, which was essentially the combination of all of the southern continents. So that included like South America, Australia, uh, Southeast Asia, uh, New Zealand, and Africa. There we go. I knew there was another big one. So, if you figure back then, water levels were much higher. This is prior to Pangaea happening. Pangaea was the most recent supercontinent with which all of our continents were together. And I forgot to say, Gondwana also included Antarctica, too. I forgot to say that. Anyway, you figure back then, the oceans were much more dominant than what they are now. And... With that being said, the Devonian period was known as the Age of the Fishes. Because that's when the variety of fish species began to diversify. Whether that was cartilaginous fishes, such as sharks. Or then you had bony fishes, which break up into two separate groups. You had the, I mean, you still have them. 
You have the ray fin fishes. Uh, a great example of a ray fin is the salmon. So if you actually look at their fins, they kind of have like a kind of like a fan shape to their fin, but there's really no bone material in those fins. It's more like a ray, more like a shape of a stingray. There we go. A little play on words right there. Whereas the other group, you had lobe fin fishes. And lobe fin, on the other hand, they actually had a very similar bone structure to what we have. You know, in the lobe fin, they had a bone structure known as a humerus. Ha <laughs> ha Very funny. But a great example of lobe fin fishes that exist still is the uh, coelacanth and the lung fish. But the thing is, the number of lobe fin fishes are much lower than, say, the ray fin. Now, granted, some people may say, oh, I'm sure there was some sort of evolution that we had from lobe fin. Granted, I really tend to stay quite neutral on that subject. I try to not veer towards one way or another. But I'm just saying there are people or researchers who do suggest that it is tied in. But as I've said before, typically with my video making... I always want to keep it neutral. I want to leave it up to you in terms of how you want to decide how you want to believe it. I can't force you to believe it in a certain way. I can only provide neutral interpretation, as it were. No bias. So... Anyway, if you guys ever happen to travel within Iowa, I would highly recommend. So, oh yeah, and by the way, shout out to Professor Michael Koenig. When I actually had a chance to refresh myself on some Devonian period interpretation, it reminded me of what Mr. Koenig taught me back when I was in basically high school. He was one of the few teachers that actually helped inspire me to continue studying about the natural world. He basically taught some of my geology courses. So, to you, Mr. Koenig, I hope this video finds you well. So, alright. Take care, you guys. Have a good one.